Welcome back to Speargrass Forge. If you're new here, thanks for coming. And if you're coming back, thanks for returning. Today, I'm going to be attempting to make a troll cross. Stick around. We're bound for South Australia. Pave away, you ruler kings. Pave away, all the way. Pave away, you'll hear me sing. We're bound for South Australia. Alright, so. I'm only using six mil round bar because I'm only making it, it's only a tiny pendant. Well, the one I'm making is going to be small anyway. So, what I'm doing initially is I'm just drawing a point over the uh, edge of the anvil and rounding it out just to make it nice and pretty. I might just lengthen that point up a little bit. I'm doing, doing this first point while it's still on the bar stock, um, and I'll be rounding, I'll be rolling this off while it's first, still on the bar stock, um, and then what I'll be doing is I'll get in the hot cut hardy. I'm only be cutting about maybe three inches max, um, yeah, two and a half to three inches, um, which is approximately about eight centimeters, eighty mil. Um, in order to get j just a short length that I need in order to do this, this troll cross. So this is only a nice, this is a nice quick little skills test uh, for myself. It doesn't really take that long. I have done um, one or two others. They didn't turn out the prettiest, but um, and because it's only thin bar stock, it does heat up relatively quickly. And basically just leave it in there with residual heat and get it hot enough. But what I'm doing is just rolling over the tip. Just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna heat up the section back here. Uh, stick the hot card in cut it off and then grab a pair of tongs and we'll work on the other side. Now, if you notice, this end of my anvil is a little bit shinier than, um, than it has been in the past. That's because I uh, was working out here the other day and I broke my end off. Now, of course, this is a homemade anvil um, and this was only welded on to begin with. Um, and it was stick welded and not very well originally. So it, it lasted eight months before I broke it off. Um, and so I had to grind and re-weld it back on. A um, little bit less gorilla snotty at the top here because I've ground it off, but underneath it's still, it's still rather gorilla snotty. But uh, hopefully it holds up for another few months while we're, um, while we're going along. Now, as some of you may already know, the uh, fuel I use for my, my forge is uh, charcoal, which is why you can hear the popping and crackling in the background, because uh, that's my charcoal burning down a little bit while I'm heating it up. I'll grab a pair of tongs. Break this off. Right. So put that bar stock aside. Now I have um, a short piece I can work with. So, last couple of days I've been working out in the forge, and one thing I have to keep reminding myself is this has got to be fun. Oop, that's a bit sparkly, a bit too hot maybe. No, we'll, we'll just knock the flag off. This is, this is a, I'm a hobby blacksmith. And emphasis on the hobby. And I think sometimes that people forget that their hobbies are supposed to be fun. You know, like I've, I have the privilege of knowing um, and talking to <coughs> some great blacksmiths, some professional, some, some with a lot more skill than myself. Um, for example, uh, 
I have the privilege of being able to chat to uh, Sam Towns from Sam Towns Bladesmith. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for his channel. Um, and he's a wonderful smith. Um, uh, I have the privilege of, of being, and then there's people with, that I have been in contact with that have a lot more skill of, than, than myself. You know, people like, you know, Yamez at uh, Island Metal Forge. Now, these people have a, a great worth of wealth of knowledge and skill. And I find myself doing, you know, what a lot of hobbyists do and wishing I had all the skill in the world. But it is a hobby. And this is a learning experience. This is what I'm doing is, you know, I'm learning the skills. Good old YouTube University. Uh, this isn't something that's, you know, learning blacksmithing is like blacksmithing. It's something that you, you know, you take, you take your raw desire and your raw ability and over time with patience and, 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 and a hell of a lot of beating, you improve your skills. Now, I love blacksmithing, and I've said it a few times before, but I've, I've had the privilege of being able to start, uh, being able to start this craft when I was about 15. But uh, you know, over the years, life gets in the way, which is why I never did more with what I had but that's okay. That's right, so at the moment, we're at a double scroll. So now comes the fun bit. So I'm gonna have to move this down the tongs a little bit, and heat up the middle, and we're gonna bend it round. So what I'm saying about the forging is remember to have fun. If it's, you know, if you're like me, you're not making money out of this. This isn't your job. The professional smiths love what they do, of course. But we don't, us hobbyists, we don't need to be so extreme. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an imperfect perfectionist. I will turn around and go, oh, that's good enough, but wish my skills were higher in order to achieve better results. But there's nothing wrong with learning. There's nothing wrong with spending all day at the forge and making something that's absolutely ugly, throwing it away and start again. Because that's the wonderful thing about hobbies, is, oh no, I've melted the tip off, haven't I? Yep, got, no, oh, maybe, no. Maybe, might have got a little bit too high. Ah, well, we'll keep going. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about, about the, um, about being, and this tongs, these tongs aren't holding it tight enough. And I'm dropping things. It's always the way it goes, isn't it? <coughs> I have to heat up these tongs and tighten them up. All right, so let's have a quick look at this. Uh, this bar, oh no, I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't ruin it, so that's a good start. All right, so let's grab these, put this on it, stick it back in. See so yeah. So just remember to have fun, guys. Um, of course, you know those those wonderful people that uh, do buy my merch and stuff like that. Um, that's so I can, you know, I, I, and I really, really appreciate that. Um, to, you're not only supporting the channel, but uh, you know, all the, 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 the money that comes from it, you know, is going towards, and you know, I don't know if, uh, and most people should know it by now, but I intend on coming over to the US to go to uh, the Quad State in 2020. So all the funds that come in, in, into the channel are going towards, back into content for this channel and also going towards Quad State in 2020, so I get to meet some of you guys. Some of, some of my wonderful, wonderful viewers and, and uh, some of the other guys that uh, I've mentioned and, and uh, 
you know, get to get to get to speak to. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting those those wonderful, wonderful people and wonderful artisans in in um, in in person. Now let's try again. Right, so now it's a bit more bent. I should be able to heat that up with a little bit less fear of melting the tip off. A pair of pliers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and bend this a little bit more manually. Right, so I'm just going to heat that back up again because it needs to be. So that's getting close to finished. I just got to bend it round just a touch more and then hammer it flat. I reckon that'll do it. Righty. going to quench off those tips so I don't melt them. And now, now that it's nice and looks pretty, I might just hit it with um, some blacksmith goop while it's still nice and warm. Blacken that up a bit, give it a little bit of protection. And there you have it. One Troll cross pendant. A nice little uh, nice little project. Nice and quick. You get the blood pumping for you know for forging. I think it looks pretty good. I'll whack it on some thonging and uh, you can see what it looks like. Thanks for watching. If you like what you score, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, don't forget to share on your favourite social media. And I hope to catch you all next time. Cheers.